In this video, we're gonna have a shaverage and an unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me for another shaverage, which we have right here, an unboxing. And today's shaverage is Yingling. This is black and tan porter and premium beer. So let's take a little sniff. Not bad, that's kind of chewy. Almost reminds me of uh, licorice a little bit in taste. Uh, Yingling, black and tan. Yingling, I believe, is a very old brewery, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, let's get into it. We're outside today. So far, no lawnmowers. You hear all the birds, man. I just love it. You just can't beat the, the good weather. Uh, and today has been a nice day. And we're, we're fortunate to have good warm weather again. So let's get into the unboxing. And in the last unboxing, I made a very, very bad technical flaw. I forgot to show my unboxing knife, which this is just my beater knife, the um, Bird Metal Arc II, which is sort of the equivalent of a Spyderco Delica, which is a you know better quality. This is the cheap version, and I just use it as a beater. The first box comes to us from Bib and Tucker, and I used a Bib and Tucker shaving cream, and they saw the video and reached out to me and wanted to know if I would try another of their products. I said, sure, as long as I can speak honestly. You know, I gave the standard disclaimer. And they said, yeah, we'd love you too. And so they sent me, uh, what is it? Lime and black pepper, which sounds good to me. You know, I love some lime. So let's give it a whiff and see how it is. This is made in England, by the way. Um, you can find it on Amazon here in the United States. And that is 5.3 ounces. Let's give it a whiff. Nice. Yeah, nice. I would call the scent a little under medium, but I do get that nice bright lime scent. Uh, and I'll know more when I use it because more of the scent notes will come out. But my initial impressions, nice, light uh, lime scent. And, you know, that's going to be a good one for me, I do believe. So thank you, Bib and Tucker. We will be using that soon or when time permits. Uh, the next package came to us from Omni Shaver. The Omni Shaver folks reached out to me because I bought the Omni Shaver. I've used it a few times on head shaves. I've sort of used it my way. And they suggested that I do it their way. And they sent me uh, some additional items. I'm not sure what's in here. I think there's shave butters in here. And they say the reason they don't want you to rinse is they want that lubrication to remain on your head. And they advise that I do short strokes instead of my normal long strokes. So we'll try to do it sort of their way and see what sort of result we get. It's worth trying. And so they did send me this uh, for free, just so you know. I always like to d disclose that. So if I say, you know, a company sent me something, that means they sent it. And okay, they have uh, sent me there. One of the things I said was I felt the razor was awkward around the ears with the handheld version. And they sent me their um, premium touch-up Omni Shaver. And it has a handle on it. It's kind of weird looking, <laughs> but uh, I'll try that in uh, one of our upcoming head shaves. I'm really looking forward to that. And look at all those blades. Woo -hoo! That's a lot of blades. How many is that? Like 10 blades? I don't know. We'll try it. I mean, what the heck? Nothing to lose. And I believe they sent their uh, shave butter, which is what they really recommend for you to use with their product. So we'll certainly give it a go. And, you know, we'll call it like we see it. If it's bad, we'll say so. But this might actually feel better to me than the handheld um, one that you've seen that I purchased. So thank you, Omni Shaver. We will use this. And when we do, we shall call it like we see it, good or bad. That's the way we roll. Okay. The next box comes to us by way of PAA, and I made an order to pick up some things that I've been meaning to get that I just haven't gotten around to. And let's take a little drink of our uh, yangling here. Ah, good stuff. Okay. And as you know, PAA often puts the little um, doorstop thing in there. Not doorstop, but let's see what this one is. Fresco, this is something new coming from PAA, evidently. So we'll look to sniff that a little bit later. Uh, orange, galbanum, bergamot, lime, lemon, lavender. Sound like I might like that one. We'll try that uh, later. I don't want to get into that right at the moment. So the first thing I bought was the uh, Phantom Aerolite brush. And let's see what that's all about here. I like translucent handles a lot. And so I wanted to get this one and... Hopefully you can see it well. It's got some good heft to it. I like that. 
There it says Amber Aerolite, and this is a 26 millimeter. I forget what the knot is called, but I think it's a pretty good looking brush. What do you think? Let me know below if you like translucent brushes. Um, I like this design. I already have the Amber Aerolite, the, um, I guess it's red, you might call it. This one is called the Phantom and it's blue, translucent. It's good looking. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. So we'll see how that goes. We shall use that soon. And we have, let's get into the soap. This is uh, Sundown, which is based on um, the vintage Sun Up aftershave, which you saw me get the vintage aftershave not too long ago. Yeah, and that smells nice. It smells like Sun Up, very, very nice. Scent strength on this, out of the tub, slightly under medium. I would call it not quite to medium, but we shall see how that goes. Got some other soaps in here that we have purchased from PAA as well. And uh, these, I don't know if I've ever um, put my nose on before, or at least not for a long time, I have. This one is Coconut Bay uh, with lime. So I'm hoping to get some lime out of this and coconut and not just bay rum. We shall see. Predominantly bay rum. I am getting some lime, not a whole lot of coconut. Not yet anyway. So we'll use this and see if the, the coconut comes out. What happens in a lot of soaps where it's it's got bay rum in it or bay. Oh, now I'm smelling. Now I got a little bit of coconut. It just sort of changed on me. Um, I'm definitely getting the lime and bay rum. Slight maybe coconut, not a lot, but it's predominantly uh, bay rum. But I think I'm gonna like this one. So this one I'm pretty sure will be a winner for me. Scent strength, scent strength on that one was right at medium for me. We also got Meta Nectar. There's the label on that one. And let's see what that smells like. Smells pretty nice. This one is like a, to describe it without knowing the notes, maybe it's got a sweetness to it, almost like a fruity sweetness to it, but it's not entirely sweet, just a little sweet. I can't really describe it. <laughs> And I can't tell you the notes because I don't know what they are, but it is sweet, but not super sweet. So nectar might be a good way of sort of saying, yeah, it's kind of got a nectar vibe to it, but it's not super, super sweet, but I do like it. We'll, we'll definitely give that one a go. Scent strength on that one, maybe slightly under medium. Most of the soaps tend to be around that. For me, between four to five, and every now and then you'll get soaps that are much higher. This one is high jump. 47. I don't think I've ever put my nose on this one. So let's, let's see. That's nice. Yeah. This one to me a little bit stronger. It's in that medium range for sure. This one is nice. I think so far, this is my favorite of the bunch in terms of the PAA soaps I've put my nose on in this unboxing. I don't know how to describe this one, but I like it. I like it a lot. So that's awesome. And finally, we have Low Haiku, which is, I think, based on high karate, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how that one smells. Now that one definitely has a vintage vibe to it. That's not bad. That one, it's kind of like um, Old Spice, if it were strong and had a, maybe a musk to it. I do like it. I don't love it. So we'll see if this ends up being a, a keeper for me. I, I'm not sure on this one, but when we use it, we'll know. We'll know. So we'll either keep it or, you know, give it away. And I got the Low Haiku uh, Splash along uh, with it uh, as a bundle. So, okay, let's get on to the next box because we're, we're dragging this thing on longer than I wanted to. I wanted to get out here, do a quick unboxing and I get to smelling things and flapping my gums and time passes and I realize you don't have all day to wait on me. So let's uh, pick up the pace a little bit. And this one, this box comes to us from uh, Murphy and McNeil. I made an order with uh, Murphy and McNeil. Great company to buy from. They have excellent service. They have really good soaps, really good shipping, really good service, really good everything, really. Uh, everything is well packaged. And I got three soaps here from Murphy and McNeil. So let's uh, get this plastic off, off the soap so we can put our nose on it because that's really what we want to do. 
put our nose on them. That's what it's all about with these soaps. This one is uh, Clada, or I'm not sure how you say that actually, sorry. Um, nice. What does it smell like? I wanna say maybe Silver Mountain water, something like that. Maybe it's based on that. I can't, I just can't remember, but smells good. Scent strength right at medium. I like it. This one is gonna be winter, Clada, for sure. No question about it. I think it's Silver Mountain water. I might be wrong. It's something Creed-like. The next one is, what is it? Gail Luke or something like that. Let's see what this one is. Now, what's this one? I'm not sure. This one, I would call it for me. Sorry about the loud truck or motorcycle, or whatever. This one is lightly scented to my nose. I don't get a ton of scent off it. Um, what I am getting is nice, but it's it's pretty light. There you see a wasp flying around. This one is pretty light, so it's hard for me to tell. We'll have to use it to see. I'm, I'm not getting a ton of scent off of that one, but what I do get is nice. And the other one that we picked up was uh, Bengari Man the Explorer, because Nate or Mel or someone from BBS Live told me she's gonna discontinue this. So if you wanna get it, pick it up before she does, assuming that they weren't uh, telling a fib. Um, but, so I picked this one up, the Explorer Citrus Wood Vetiver, and I do like it. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, this one is absolute winner, and uh, this one is a winner. I'm pretty sure I had a sample of this before. It's good, I like it. Very nice, very nice, yeah. This one is a winner for me. Why are you discontinuing this one, Heather? This one is good. I don't know. At least Mel, so if I'm wrong about discontinuing, lay Nate and Mel from uh, BBS Live because they're the ones that told me she was discontinuing this, which is why I bought it. All right, we've got a lot of new stuff to be working with in, in the coming weeks, so thank you all. I hope you have great days. If you have mail calls or unboxings, I hope they go brilliantly and you love everything you get. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.